Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a SSH connection to your Azure DevOps. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is to create a key. You know how to do that? Right click anywhere on your Windows desktop and open a terminal. You can open either PowerShell or Command Prompt. I'm using PowerShell and in here, you're going to enter the following command SSH key gen followed by your email address. Once you hit enter, they will ask you where would you like to save your private and public key. This is a default directory where you'll be storing. So if you open your file explorer on your Windows, this is where you'll end up. There'll be two files that'll be created, one public and one private key, like I mentioned. And just hit enter to just accept the default value here. And then they'll prompt you to enter your password twice. And then they'll create two keys right here. You can look at the content of the uh, 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 the keys here, but the key that you need to enter in Azure DevTop, uh, DevOps, I'm sorry, is uh, ID RSA pub, right? So you can do uh, cat, or you can open with a notepad. Let's do notepad. Notepad, and just drag this file across. What you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to copy the content of it by either pressing uh, select all or drag it and right click and let's copy it on a clipboard I'm gonna close this guy next thing you gonna have to do is open your uh, Azure DevOps uh, right here and then after that you're gonna have to go to your personal settings here under user settings and then you select SSH public key if you have never set up a key before this is what it looks like there's no SSH public key to add a new public key you're gonna click on this blue button here click on it give it a name say test ABC or whatever you like to call it and right click and paste the content of that public key in here and hit add a line will appear here for some reason if you don't like the face of it you're just gonna go have to click on this epsilon button here and remove the SSH key which I'll do towards the end of the video so now you have the key there let's uh, create a brand new uh, repository so go in here new repository I'm gonna keep it as uh, git for now make it simple and then I'm gonna give it a name say testing one two three four I'm gonna create a readme.md file as well here and in here I'll say this is for Visual Studio or Unreal Engine or whichever you like it and then hit create so what this does is that it goes ahead and creates a new repository called testing123. Now to pull this repository into your Windows desktop or your Linux machine, you're going to have to use the following command. But let's, uh, for simplicity, let's, uh, what do you call it, clone this repository into this directory here. So to do that, you're going to have to do, um, let's go to that directory, cd. Drag it in here, and now you're in that directory with uh, these two files here. To clone that repository, it, the command is git clone, and the second argument would be from here. Click on clone, ssh, click on this copy to clipboard. Once that's done, right click to paste it. By the way, you can also select to open it in Visual Studio if you have the proper Visual Studio files in here. But right now it's all empty. I've only got two files, I guess. I got readme.md and this uh, git ignore. Those two files will be du duplicated here. I'm going to minimize this guy here so we can see the files coming in here. They'll create a directory and all those files will be copied over. So hit enter. And this is the first time that I'm connecting to this uh, server. So you're going to have to type yes. And then the password that you entered when you create the key. And then you'll start downloading. And you can see that particular folder or repository folders are here. Double click, open it. And there you go. That's how you clone it. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now. Hey, wait a minute. The video is not over yet. I, I promised to show you how you can remove the uh, key. Okay. Go back to your Azure. Dev out web page here. Uh, to remove the key, you go 
to your user settings go public key and then you'll be clicking on this guy here and remove delete okay if anybody try to copy the key the keys are gone all right now you can have a good day bye now